Hello everyone, this is a speed draw video that I decided to do, inspired by Bob Ross X Hesk type landscapes, you know, you, you probably understand. This is the first time I ever tried making a landscape like this, because I've, I've done landscapes before, but they're usually like with colored pencil and stuff, usually not as detailed. I thought this was a nice change of pace, something to like try and expand on to get better at. So yeah, um, as you can see, I kind of built up the background with blues and purples, and then adding some like green trees into a little bit in the back, just to like I don't know, look like pine trees. I don't know what I was going for. But I guess I accomplished it because this is the landscape that ended up in the video. So, yeah. The misty effect was fun to like work with because I've never, I've never really been able to do it. But I did find a brush that did work. I am honestly really new to a lot of the brushes because I don't experiment that often. So this was a fun little like rain experiment to find out different brushes and how they can work. So that was nice. Yeah, more with the mist. Okay, so the land, that was a little bit difficult since I have to, like, I, I don't know. I had to redo it a couple of times because at first it didn't quite look right. And, and that kind of bothered me because I wasn't quite sure what I was going for. But uh, I did know that I wanted water in it, and a lot of the land made it look like the water was just gone. But I got rid of the water anyway. I think I, I think I put it back in after I put the yeah. There it is. There's the water. I just wanted it to work better. Look more like a a river rather than like an ocean that was just suddenly bombarded by land. Just some put some nice little trees right there. Uh, so just evergreens, but blue for some reason I guess. I don't know. There are I think there are blue pine trees, right? I don't know. This is fun. Again, experimenting with the brushes and do like how to even make trees because I'm not not the greatest when it comes to making landscapes. So this is this is a fun experiment into my talent to try and like build it up and get make something that I normally don't do, which is character. I mean, if you've seen any of my recent thumbnails, I've put no effort into them at all. It, they're so they're so bad. But uh, this this was fun. I I put effort into it. I'm proud to say that this video, this landscape, only took me 30 minutes or so. It, it was not a very long. Didn't take me very long to make this, and I'm very proud of what I was able to accomplish. See, just blending it in so that the river looks more nice. Using that amazing brush. I love that brush so much. So cool. Just using that brush to like make it look more like plants and making things pop. It was nice. It was, it was fun. Okay, here, here's where I ran into some trouble. I wanted to add a tree there, but I didn't exactly know what I wanted it to look like. So at first, I tried building a more apple oak type tree, and I decided that didn't work, as you can see right now. So I just made another evergreen tree type thing, just a lot more in the foreground and bigger. Um, and so I did some blending with the trunk to make it look a little bit more detailed since it is in the foreground and does need a little bit more attention. And I also gave the needles some more attention using that same brush I used for designing the foliage to design the, the, the needles, which I thought I thought made sense. That, and that was fun. It was a nice, it was a nice little tree. Now we add some more detail in some other places, but really not so much. And then I sign it, and multiple times until I decide which one was best. And yeah, that was it. That was the painting. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun making this, and I have nothing left to say. Bye.